Hey. Wow, it's been a long time. All right, so uh, I have to do my intro music for about two seconds. All right, we're good. So the title is uh, Learning to Code Plus Entrepreneurship. So if you don't know, I have a, uh, a mentoring program slash bootcamp called Uncle Steph. It's at unclesteph.com because people sort of call me Uncle Steph. You can find it there. I started about two years ago, and so working with a whole, hundreds of people now, I've, uh, I have a better understanding what the audience is looking for, what people need. So I think what is this, what it, what it is, is this. I think most people are learning how to code because they know that coding offers a lot of opportunities in terms of jobs, in terms of freelancing, in terms of entrepreneurship. It's the quickest way to achieve what I would characterize as financial independence. I'm not going to say rich because rich is a, is a loaded comment, a loaded term. What's financial independence? You don't have to worry about money so much. Now, coding, coding is not, does not have an exclusivity in terms of that. There's no question about that. There's many different routes where you can become financially independent because becoming financially independent is, uh, has a lot to do with other things outside of uh, your earnings. We'll get into that briefly in a second. But coding is by far the quickest way. It's, as far as I know, it's the, it's the only profession where within a year, you can start making significantly more money than you're currently making now. So I don't want to give an exact dollar amount because depending on where you live and depending on a few other factors, that amount which that which you're going to make as a developer is going to be it's going to be different if you're in new york city it's one thing if you're in a small town in ohio it's another salary if you're in pakistan it would be another salary turkey another salary but what i have seen generally speaking i like to say that for most people when they transition from their current job or profession into coding Typically, they can see a doubling of their salary within a year or so, within a year or so. That's a conservative number. Now, how do you determine what it exactly you can expect? Well, one thing you can do is just go to a job site like Indeed.com and just look at jobs, uh, developer jobs, entry-level jo developer job salaries. They'll list them uh, in your area. So let me just give you a quick look at that. So here I'm in the Miami, Florida listing. I just chose Miami, Florida for the hell of it. So if you look down here, you can see a bunch of jobs, you know, uh, React.js developer, 56 to 71K a year full time. This is, you know, coming into it. Let's scroll down here. Uh, Spring Boot, Java developer, 53 to 63 an hour. Now, if you want to know how much an hourly rate how that translates into per year, you just double it times a thousand. So 53 times two, 106, 106,000 to 126,000 salary for Java developer. Uh, front end developer, Miami, Florida, 90,000 to 110,000 full time starting, you know, coming in. So here's a, a low end job estimated 43 to 54. It's kind of a low end, you know, uh, role web programmer. So anyway, you get the idea. So you, what you ought to do in my, uh, is you go to a job site like Indeed, do search in your geographical area, wherever you wanna work, and you'll see what the salary expectations are and you compare it to what you're currently making. If you're very well established in your particular profession, it's high value profession, then there might be a lateral move salary wise, or might be a temporary dip, but it just gives you an idea of what's going on here. Hey, cheers everybody. By the way, this is the, uh, the official channel salute code long and prosper. I stole this from Star Trek, by the way. So what I tried to do and bring to YouTube is realism to the game, a realistic understanding of what it is to become a developer, how you get there, what can you expect in the trade and how it actually, how you actually become developer, how you actually advance in your career. This is what I cover. Again, not it's based on my experience going back to 1994 when I started writing code. So, that's the first thing. So when you transition to being a developer, most people can see a doubling of their salary or more within a year, a year and a half, depending, you know? So that's typical. So if your ultimate goal is financial independence, that makes a lot of sense, right? Because if you can increase your, double your salary within a year, you got all this extra money to make. So 
How do you take that now and turn this extra bonus salary, this, this boost in salary rather, when you become a developer, how do you take that into um, financial independence? So let me define financial independence again. You don't worry about paying your bills. You have enough money saved up for your emergency fund. I call it the FU money. You can watch old videos from years ago where I talked about this. So that covers all your expenses for you know six months to a year. Depending on your circumstance, you might have more or less FU money. But And then beyond that, you got to start saving aggressively for retirement. I recommend index funds, but I won't get into the details here. So yeah, financial independence comes to A, improving your skill sets. Developer to me is the easiest, quickest way to increase your value of your time considerably quickly. And B, once you're making all that extra money, you don't want to be a fool and start spending your money on expensive cars and uh, and, and watches and stuff like that. What you want to do is you want to still live low key so that you can start building up a huge amount of savings very quickly. Uh, I've talked about this in the past. So what does that mean? That means if, let's say you're making an extra, I'm just gonna use round numbers to make life easy. So let's say you're making an extra 50,000 a year once you establish yourself as a developer coder after a year, year and a half, whatever it is. Instead of spending that extra 50K, you, you invest and save. And so what financial advisors will tell you is that if you spend, if you save 10% a year over 25 years, you have enough to retire. So I say to you, why, why only save 10% a year? If you're going to double your salary, why not you save 30, 40, 50% a year, right? So when you get that increase of income, don't increase your lifestyle, stay down here with your lifestyle, stay comfortable and save all the extra money. So let's say you save 40% instead of 10%. For every year of your savings, 40%, it's four years of somebody else. Two years, you saved eight years worth. Three years, you saved 12 years worth. So in three years, you've already accumulated 12 years worth of savings versus somebody else who is gonna take that extra 12 years. Now, if you get very aggressive like I did back in the day, um, what you do is, I, at some points, I was saving 80% a year. So one year was equivalent to eight years for the average person. So imagine you do three years like that, all of a sudden it was uh, 24 years worth of savings in three years. So you see how you can quickly get ahead as a developer in terms of your financial independence by increasing your skill sets, your value as a professional. And then what you do is you uh, take all that extra ca capital earnings and you invest it in index funds aggressively and uh, once you get to the point where the money is making uh, a decent return for you, then you're pretty relaxed, trust me. When you know that you have you know, six months, a year, two years of cash in the bank, so you don't have to worry about paying bills, and you've accumulated a bunch of savings, and then your savings are making a really good return, it's actually earning you a lot of money passively, then life's pretty easy, then life's pretty easy. So you don't necessarily have to become insanely wealthy and rich to become financially independent. You just have to be, improve your skills, number one. Number two, be frugal with your money. Number three, invest that money. And keep your lifestyle, you know, modest, at least for a few years to give, your, give yourself a chance to accumulate some capital.